Hey shows people, welcome back to another video and it's a preview for tonight's match against Barcelona. Crazy, because uh, ages ago, the only time we get to play Barcelona being friendlies. But first thing first, do us a favor with the like button, subscribe channel if you are new. Uh, just to get something out of the way, there won't be any watch on tonight. We're having some mad technical issues uh, in the shed. The PC is bricked. So if you're a tech guy, hit us up on Instagram or Twitter, because we're having a terrible time with the motherboard. I think it's a motherboard. I have no idea at this moment. But we're working on getting that fixed as soon as possible. More than likely, be, well, we will 100% be ready for the Community Shield. Uh, but... Let's get straight into a preview. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this game. If, you, if you've been watching the other games, you'll know that it's been pretty much a goal fest. Uh, obviously, we've, we've not had a great time really losing both against Celtic and AC Milan. A lot of goals in there, but uh, yeah, we're still losing these games. I don't think you can read too much into it. It's not panic stations. I think uh, <laughs> I don't think people are in that mode, uh, but if you are in that mode, chill. It's not panic stations. It is literally just preseason. Uh, we're testing different things, throwing a load of youngsters in there. And obviously, we don't really have uh, all the players back. Obviously, Julian Alvarez is still away in that. Um, and obviously, giving uh, more players rest. Um, unfortunately, not being able to see Savio yet. Uh, really looking forward to seeing him get on the pitch. Uh, but it's not looking, obviously, like it won't, I don't think it'll be tonight either. I don't, I don't actually know when Savio is coming into the, into the squad um, or if he's been training yet. Uh, but yeah, it's not likely that we're, we're going to see Savio uh, during this time. But still exciting, though, because there have been loads of goals in these games. And that's like the best thing for me is... Just watching the match, it's, you know it's pre-season, you know you've got all these youngsters. Yes, the results aren't going our way. However, um, there are some exciting link-ups. Oscar Bob and Erling Haaland, mate, they've got it on point. They've got it on point. I'm telling you, Oscar Bob is, is in for a mint season this season. I just hope he gets the game time that he deserves. Uh, but honestly, the guy is unreal. Uh, he's looking good. Uh, James McAtee's had some uh, game time uh, in this preseason, which I think is good for him. And um, we know that Pep Guardiola wants to keep him. He's happy to stay at City this season as well. So hopefully uh, he can continue um, to improve at the club and uh, do bits for us. But it's a bit of a weird one doing a video as a preview because usually um, we'd have loads of talking points and things of games we've watched in a review or like games that have been happening in the past, but it's just pre-season. Uh, we are literally just in pre-season mode. Uh, but... There are rumours. Now, I want you to let me know in the comment section below the rumours that tonight, Calvin Phillips, and by the time this video is up, uh, you'll lot will know in the next, like, say, half an hour, you'll know the situation. Uh, Calvin Phillips potentially starting at centre-back. Uh, now, I wouldn't pick that. Uh, I've done my predicted 11, and he's not in that predicted 11 starting. Uh, but uh, apparently, that's the thing. Calvin Phillips centre-back mode. Is that a shop window? Are we just trying to show his versatility a little bit just to uh, say to some clubs, look... He can play elsewhere. He can do other positions. Uh, but I'm not sure. I think Calvin Phillips still doesn't have a career at City. Uh, I, I still think that uh, we'll be getting rid of him as soon as possible. Uh, but Calvin Phillips, like I say, potential starting at centre-back. We'll go through the predicted 11 that I've gone with. I've gone with a Edison at, uh, starting off as goalkeeper, which we've seen um, in this preseason. I know there's a lot of rumours flying about around, around Edison. He's been made captain a few times, obviously, uh, during this preseason. So... I'm not. I'm still unsure on the Edison situation. I'm. I'm not sure if if the offer comes in. If he's just happy to go, we know that he's open to the idea of a move. So I'm. I don't really know. But for me, I want him at City. He's my number one goalkeeper. I want him at City. So it is what it is. Stefan Ortega. I think he'll get game time. I think he'll come on in the second half. Maybe even a Scott Carson uh, appearance. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Edison will start. Uh, Rico Lewis at right back again. It's just something that I really want to see. Rico Lewis uh, keep getting more game time. I think it was criminal last season the game time that he had. And it's weird really with Rico because we do push him further forward. He's he's very much an attacking fullback. Uh, I mean, to, to be fair, he plays more as a, as a midfielder than he does a fullback but very very good player looking forward to seeing him more this season hopefully gets more game time uh, but yeah Rico Lewis at right back uh, Simpson Pusse what a name that is uh, he, he's been playing a few games now so I think he'll start at centre back um, along with Callum Doyle uh, obviously Callum Doyle a lot of people highly rate Callum Doyle say he's got a good career ahead of him I think um if Calvin Phillips does start at centre back, that's pretty sick. Um, it's pretty different, but for me, I wouldn't be putting that there. I'd be going with uh, Callum Doyle just because it's. Uh, I, I like seeing the youth when you're in preseason. It's that's what the 
gets it more exciting when you get that because you get to see players that you don't regularly see uh, week in, week out. And obviously going to Community Shield next week, we might probably still a mixed side in the Community Shield. I won't be looking um, at us going full strength in that. I think it'll still be a few youngsters in there. So um, it's kind of like pretty much the way that Community Shield goes with us nowadays. Um, I think... Vardiol um, should be coming back into the side. I think getting Vardiol in there, um, decent. Um, I've gone with uh, Kovacic uh, to start in the midfield along with Perone. Perone ball. Perone ball cooking. Is the Perone hype back on? Are we back on the Perone hype train? Because <laughs> a few seasons ago when Perone came, it was, it was all about him. It was all about him. It was like, he'll, he'll change the game. Are we feeling good about uh, Perone and, and his time at City? Do you think he's got a chance? Let me know in the comments. Uh, so Perone, um, and then James McAtee, definitely starting. Um, Oscar Bob, definitely starting. Jack Grealish, again, definitely starting. And Erling Haaland up top. Um, I think there, I, I'd be running that. I'd be running that. I'm liking what I'm seeing like from the attacking players. Defensively, yes, we look shaky as anything. But when you switch it up and you're throwing all these youngsters in, you can't really expect too much. But it is making for open games, which uh, is what it is, man. I'm, I'm, all, I'm here for the goals. I'm here for the goals this preseason. I don't look too much into the end result. Um, and then you just want to see some glimpses um, of some good football. Now, Barcelona have uh, quite a few players out still. Pedri, Frankie de Jong, Gavi, uh, Araujo, Ansu Fati are all absent through injury. Uh, Rafinha and Gundo, though, apparently linked up on Monday. So there's a potential uh, there's a potential for Gundo and Rafinha to feature. Not sure if they get thrown straight back in there. Lewandowski is meant to start. Um, we've got a predicted eleven for their team. Uh, they this is the predicted eleven online, and there's it, there's the. What I've got this off is saying Ter Stegen, uh, Inet Araujo, uh, Martinez, Christensen, and Fort, uh, Romeu, Oriol Romeu at Barcelona. That is that it's it's mad, mad football's crazy, mate. Um, Oriol Romeu, Gundo, uh, Torre, uh, Roque, Lewandowski, and Victor. Now um, that's the Barcelona line, the predicted Barcelona lineup. Obviously, uh, it won't be long before you get the team news and you see the actual one. But I'm really looking forward to an exciting open game of football. I just want to see some glimpses. I want to get a win. Do you know what I mean, like I say, I'm not too fussed about the result. I don't get like, I'm not, I'm not raging after it. You know what I mean? I'm not online like giving it like big and. Uh, as if I've seen the worst game of football in my life because it is a mixed side. Uh, but it'd be nice to just get a win. Just not even for <laughs> not even for anything really, just a tick. Just to say that we won we won a preseason game when we was there. Um but yeah, getting a win against Barcelona would be pretty good. Um, the match tonight, I think he's on Premier Sports. I think it's probably on the City app as well, um, as standard, uh, if that's where you've been watching. But Premier Sports, which is pretty decent. Um and yeah, uh, score prediction wise. Score prediction, <laughs> I'm gonna, head says 2-2. Two, two. I think the score prediction, uh, my, my head says 2-2. Two, two. Uh, I think obviously goals in there and I think it'll be a draw. But Hart, I'm going to say 3-2 City. You know, I want us to win. you got to back your team in it. I want us to win this. I hope we do it. Um, even though it's just a preseason game, getting gassed about it. Um, it is my birthday tomorrow. We will be doing some streams tomorrow. Obviously, we'll have a transfer roundup for you. Um, at, in the afternoon and then in the say about midday-ish, uh, we're going to do a review of the Barcelona game. Uh, have a look into it and, and see that. We'll do that as a live stream, not a video. This is only video for today uh, because I've been busy with birthday stuff. Uh, so yeah, birthday tomorrow, buzzing. Uh, it's a big 3-0. You wouldn't think I'm looking 30. Look at this youthful face. This is never a 30-year-old face. Like the video for a happy birthday for Jordi Party. Um, big up to everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully City get the win, 3-2. Gone for our little lineups and that and uh, predicted scores. And I'll see you Let's tomorrow. Go.